Get him out of here. Tyler, what did you do? He's gone. He's just... gone. I know. But you... Shut up. Just take her body in the back. What an ugly, ugly night. So we saw them kill Dale. She was right there. In one of the police cars. She's safe, right? There's somebody watching her? I wouldn't trust the police to watch the tide come in. But I'm sure she's fine. God, what am I going to tell Ash? Poor kid. Hey, you were out there. You knew what was going to happen, didn't you? No, of course not. He was my baby brother. I was there the day he was born. At least he went out fighting. Joyce, you executed her. You want the awful truth? Life is war. People die. And it's not up to them when it happens. Don't you point that thing at me. Ma'am, this is a live operation. Uh, Sheriff, uh, should I arrest her? Sharon? Sharon, you, you can't just... What the hell do you think you're doing? It's Ma. Dante, please. My boys are in there. They wouldn't have robbed my house without you knowing about it. Besides, it's been... kind of a messy night. Still. If you want them out, you let me in. Dispatch, stand by. We have a situation developing. Excuse me, deputy. Uh, Sheriff? Sharon! Better not make me regret this. <sighs> Fuck me. Open up before he changes his mind already, will ya? Hmm. Ma? Why are you here? Hey, Mama. Hi, sweetheart. Where's Dale? Oh, God, no. Ma, I'm sorry. You were supposed to look after him. Sharon, I'm... I'm so sorry. How did it happen? Romero... drew us out to talk about a helicopter. And he had a sniper. What, he just... lured him out there like... like an animal? Got something to say? No. Nope. Go on. You think my Dale had it coming, don't you? 
No one deserves to die. Not like that. What's your name? Vince. He's a family man. In trouble from the beginning. Grabbing our guns. And he was out there when Dale took the bullet. Says he didn't know, but... Family man, huh? I get that. You probably think my boys are monsters. But we have lost so much. And now Dale... I am not losing anyone else. So you help me take care of my family? I'll help you take care of yours. Deal? Okay. Look, the sheriff, he, um, he gave me something. A two-way pager. He uh, what? He wants some book he thinks you stole. He said if I don't get it... You're working with the cops? Whoa, whoa, wait! Just hold on now! Tyler Douglas Holt! You let go of him this instant. I gave him my word. <sighs> so Dante tries to turn you, but you turn on him instead? Why? Look, I don't care whose house you robbed. All I care about is my family. Then you and I have something in common. <sighs> Tyler, we should talk in private. That idiot Dante thinks I'm helping him. Jay, sweetie, don't you worry. We'll get you out of here. You're helping them? Seriously? I'm pretty much totally making this up as I go. So, if you have any ideas... Why'd you let me talk you into Route 66? We could have gone through Utah. Nothing but Mormons and South Flats. You think Zoe will be okay? After going through all this? Whatever happens, we'll always be there to pick up the pieces for her. I really hope so. Dante, it's Sharon. Oh, for crying out loud, just listen. Forget the helicopter. What we want is a school bus. Big enough for us and the hostages. They're coming too? We're safer that way. Well, I know I said that. Is it my fault you're gullible? Stop, 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 stop. Look, if this goes until morning, you'll have the state police here, maybe the FBI. And we both know that having them on your turf is the last thing you... <sighs> I can live with that. Call me when it's ready. Hey, what's that in your pocket? It's just a book about birds. Huh. Some kind of hiding place. Honey, where'd you get this? It belonged to the sheriff. I... I thought... There was something in it. Could you have dropped it somewhere? I... I don't know. I haven't looked at it since we got to the motel. It might be in the truck out back. But Romero's got a sniper up on the hill. He'll go. Me? We're in this together now, family man. And Jay, you go too. If he tries anything, do what you have to. Last! The hunter returns! Caught some cottontails. Big deal. I promised Ma we'd fix this roof, or it won't last another storm. Here. Make yourself useful. Well, we replaced most of them. 
Need you to cut me some new ones. Think you can handle that? I've done it before. Mm. Pine. Easy enough to saw. Easy enough to fuck up. So don't. I won't. Hey, bro, what kind of timber you got there? Uh... Ain't softwood, so... You saying you got hard wood? That's right. Hey, Tyler. Says he's got hard wood. <laughs> Maybe you need a cold shower. I don't. <laughs> oh, look at his face. Almost forgot. I got something for you. Yeah? Whoa. <laughs> Should've known better. I fucking taught him that. Uh. Hey. Wanna get high? Nah. Still got some shit to unload. <laughs> I don't think so. Sure? <laughs> Whoa! Don't let go. Don't let go. Well, lucky, lucky. I hope I ain't disturbing your fun. Pa? Huh? What? No hug for your old man? Oh, fuck. Party's over. Hey, boys. I guess you finished the roof, then. Seeing as you giggling like a bunch of girls. See for yourself. It's coming along just fine. What? That's your work? Jay did him. Huh? Credit where it's due, right? Well, you ain't the sharpest tool in the shed, but you're better than your brothers. Faster, too, I'd wager. Would have finished it sooner if you bothered helping us. I had business in town. <laughs> and how much you lose this time? <clears throat> Come on, Jay. You ain't too old for a whooping, Tyler. Hey, fuck off and leave him alone. Do yourself a favor, son, and step aside. When my pappy used to take off his wristwatch, it was because it was time for a beating I wouldn't forget. Hold this. Huh? Huh? Stupid. What in God's name are you fighting over this time? Nothing. Just complimenting the boys on their fine work. I didn't hear you come back. Why? Were you gonna roll out the red carpet? So you can tramp your dirty boots all over it? Cleaning up another of your messes is the last thing I need. Mm. Now, is someone please gonna tell me what this is about? Jay? Huh? 
Pa said the roof's taken too long. And then it got ugly. Yeah. When are you all gonna learn to grow up? I ain't cooked enough for five, so if you want lunch, you're making it yourself. No thanks. I lost my appetite. Jay, you better take those rabbits inside. I'll skin them later. We'll be right along. I'll fix us some cold drinks. Who are you? <laughs> Hello, son. I represent some business acquaintances of your father's. Ah, <sighs> that is good. I can see this is a well-run home. Anything I can help you with, sir? Now that's what I like to hear. Help me, you most surely can. Hmm, now let me guess. You're too young to be Dale, and Tyler is much taller, or so I understand. Uh... Which means you must be Jay. I have been sent with a requisition. A what? Is your father home? He was here, but you're too late. Ah, shoot. Now that's a shame, because my employers are most insistent. They sent me to collect a down payment. Huh? Hmm. May I? No. Please, I think it's time you went. You know what? You're rude. And I'm out of matches. Hmm. Listen, son. I'm not a violent man. But the people I work for, if your pa doesn't pay his gambling debt, with interest, owing money will be the least of his troubles. Ain't nothing to do with me. It's his problem. Yes, but sins of the fathers, I'm afraid. Interesting. Swiss? The watch. A collector's piece, I think. Yours? No. It's... It ain't worth much. Maybe we can come to an arrangement. If you give me the watch, I'll talk to my employers and explain the circumstances. Consider it a gesture of goodwill. Do we have an agreement? Um, uh, I... Now that wasn't so hard, was it? Perhaps you're the good apple of the bunch after all. Jay, I forgot my damn watch. Huh? Hey! I told your people to stop bothering me. Now get off my property and go back to whatever piss stinking hole you crawled out of. You've dug your own grave, Holt. Your families, too! You'll be hearing from us! Bring it on! I see you or any of your shit heel friends back here. I'll burn you alive! You let that piece of shit intimidate you? In your own home? The fuck is wrong with you? I'm sorry. Sorry? What does that mean? Jay, where's the watch? I gave it to him. Uh, I was trying to help. Oh, uh, 
For Jesus Christ's sake, can I trust you to do nothing right? Who was that? Jehovah's Witness. More of your bear shit. Jay, what was that? This time, keep your goddamn mouth shut. He wanted money. Jay. For a gambling debt. Ugh. He said there'd be trouble if we didn't pay. Jesus Christ, Bear. Uh, How much? I'll take care of it. How? By walking away? Bear, I'm talking to you. I said it's not your problem. But I'll be left picking up the pieces, like always! If all you've got to offer us is trouble, why do you even bother coming home? Even when we've got nothing, he takes it away. It's all right, Mom. It's all right. The shed's in the back? Yeah. Away from the road. No fear. Gonna be awesome. Why isn't he turning off the lights? Halfway there. Gee, thanks, Sheriff. You okay? Couldn't be better. Hey, where were you sitting? Kind of all over. You check the cab. I'll check the bed. There you are. Is that what the sheriff wanted? Huh, it's just numbers. Department of Water and Power, $12,000. East Side Land Holdings, 8000 There's hundreds of these. What are they, bribes or something? Hey, you all right? It's nothing. Just... That we're so caught up in all this shit. You, me, the sheriff, my family. If you knew what I've seen the last few weeks, it's all just so messed up. <sighs> Can't you just buy a ticket on the Greyhound and get out of here? <sighs> I wish it was that easy. You ever have something you thought about doing, but you knew it was too dumb to actually go do? Sure. I used to be an aircraft mechanic. Fixed up 747s and little Cessnas and everything. But when I was a kid, I didn't want to fix planes, I wanted to fly them. In fact, what I really wanted to be was a flight instructor. So why didn't you? I don't know. I guess I was scared of failing, but seeing how everything turned out, maybe I should have tried. I always wanted to be a forest ranger. I wanted to go to that one place with the geyser. What's it called? Yellowstone. Yeah, that's the one. See that thing spout in the air? That'd be cool. Tell you what, let's get out of here alive tonight. Maybe we'll both get to rethink our lives a little. We should be getting back.
You ever been married? Sure, to Vince's mother. I was too once. She left me. Said I drank too much. Wait, that's it. Sharon's bar. Didn't you come through here, what, 15, 20 years ago? Said you were some traveling salesman or something. Hey, I am telling you, drop it. Hey, we got it. Well, look at you two. A regular Thelma and Louise. Holy Moses. What is all this? Sheriffs are elected, right? With all those names and cash amounts, could... Could he be paying out bribes or something? Paying them, taking them, and probably a lot more besides. He's been dirty as a dog for years now. Just can't believe he wrote it all down. Put me through to the sheriff again. I know. I'm inside it. Dante, it's Sharon. Your little whack-a-mole in here betrayed you. I've got your little black book, and I'll gladly start faxing pages to Channel 10 unless you get me that bus in the next 30 minutes. How long till the FBI gets here? Under an hour. All right, Sharon. You win. Boss, you sure? We could wait him out. Bring the goddamn bus. You shouldn't have come. It's not safe. Those cops, they shoot first, ask questions later. You doing okay? Better now. We all agree. How about you? I'm not gonna let you face Scared. Me too. <sighs> Won't be much longer. What if something happens to us, Vince? The plan was to get us first. We drive to the border and hope I tell the owner to stop forgetting. We have to stay focused on what's happening right now. On keeping our heads down and getting back to Zoe. You're right. We'll make it. I've been thinking about the settlement from work. The gag order and all the hush money. Yeah? If we get out of this alive, I know what I want to do. I'm not signing. I'm going to take those fuckers to court and sue them for ten times what they offered us. Really? Vince, that's amazing. You're not mad? I thought you wanted me to put it all behind us. Exactly. I wanted to put it behind us. I don't care. It's just so good to see you fight for something again. If I win, maybe I can finally take those flight lessons. You're in the country? You can't go home again? Vince. Grow up. Do you even realize how far past going I've been thinking a lot, are? too, over the last few days, I'm and... Sorry, there's no going back now. I need to ask you something. Anything. The other night, when you... When I got that text message, and I said it was no big deal, you just trusted me. Why? You said nothing happened, and I believe you. Do you not want me to? Of course I do. I just... Is it really that easy for you? Look, life's hard enough without me making problems that don't need to exist. You're a good man. You know that? So I've been told. All right, everybody. On your feet. Listen, everyone. The only way any of us gets out of here tonight is on that bus. Hostages at the windows, us in the aisle. You sure this is gonna work? Won't pretend I'm sure of anything. But I know what this family's capable of. Why is the chassis so low? Huh? Get out of the way! Bus is open. I repeat, bus is open. Take them out!
Jay! Get up! Jay! Jay! <laughs> Jay, get up. What? Pa? Are you hurt? I need you to drive me to the hospital. Get dressed. Don't worry, Pa. I'll get you there. I understand why you told your mom about the dead. But you got her all wound up and worried now. I just wanted to do the right thing. I know, son. But sometimes doing the right thing is doing the wrong thing. You'll understand that someday. <sighs> she used to think she could fix me, you know. All she wanted was a good man who'd love her back. Nobody wants to be alone. Not least your ma, anyway. So, when a woman like that says she wants you gone, well, you start thinking maybe she's right. Maybe the family don't need me no more. Even I know when to cash in the chips. You gotta stop. I've tried, son. But once you get a taste for winning, you just want it more. Turn off here. Hospital's the other way. We ain't going to the hospital. Huh? Make the turn. How did you... how did you hurt your shoulder, Pa? You're a good kid. I know they say you're not supposed to have favorites, but... Tyler's trouble is too like his ma. Dale's is that he's too much like me. You're different. I can talk to you, son. Trust you. Why have we stopped here? Help me get this tarp off the back. It's heavy. Pa, what's inside? You got it? A pull. Keep pulling. Come on. Is he dead? Jay, you have to listen to me. He had my pappy's watch. I tried to get it back, but stubborn son of a bitch, he refused. He attacked me, and I hit him uh, too hard. He fell and hit his head. I, I didn't mean to kill him. I just panicked. I guess he just got what was coming. Wasn't your fault. Exactly. You lay down with dogs, you get fleas. That's what my pappy always told me. Uh, uh, uh. 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 
He said if I gave him the watch, they'd give us more time to pay. With interest? Oh, these people are sharks. You let them smell blood, and they'll eat you whole. Uh, I should never have given it to him. Ain't just any old watch, son. Like I said, belong to my dear old pappy. One day, it'll be yours. See if he's still got it on him. I don't know if I can do that, Pa. You're the one that gave it away. Now, you can get it back. Search him. <clears throat> Ugh, he's still warm. He'll be cold soon enough. Keep looking. <sighs> Ain't much, but it's better than nothing. He had a family. So do I. Didn't stop him coming after me. You find the watch? It's not here. What about the jacket pockets? Uh, got it. Good. <clears throat> pa, what are we gonna do? He's dead. Only one thing to do. <clears throat> Dig. Uh, please, don't ask me to do that. Jay, listen to me. No one can find him. If we don't do this, the people he works for... Please, I ain't asking for me. Think of your mall. Think of your brothers. You're the only one I can trust. Pick up the shovel. Oh, man. I never told anyone this, but when I was half your age, we had this young horse. Beautiful colt. Rode him most days. Then one summer, he threw me. Started bucking and biting, and I was lucky he didn't kill me. Next day, Pappy hands me his rifle. Says, when an animal goes bad, all a man can do is put it down. I can still smell the whiskey on his breath as he holds that horse steady. Counts to three. I squeeze the trigger and... Uh, oh, that's deep enough. All those years, I hated him. Now I know he was right. It had to be done, son. That's... You were... You were just a kid. You grab his arms. I'll take his feet. Let's get him into the hole. All right, let's get him covered before sunrise. Please. Help. <laughs> Help me. Please. Bury him. Do it, Jay. Do it, Jay. Bury him. Please. We can save him. Pa, please. He's beyond saving, son. Like that crazy horse. Now, are you going to help me or not? I'm sorry. They'll come for you. They... Uh. 
It had to be done. Look like you need it. To he who falls last. You take care of your grandpappy's watch, you hear? Been keeping time on a Holt's wrist since the Great Depression. So you treasure it. What I ask you to do tonight, son, what you did, wasn't just for me. It was for all of us. I, I know I'm hard on you sometimes. Maybe I'm just no good. But I've made a lot of sacrifices, Jay. Going off to war. Taking care of that stranger tonight. Family means sacrifice. Even for a fucked up old drunk like me. You ain't so bad as all that. You got your good sides, too. Maybe once. Too much water gone under the bridge now. He was right, wasn't he? Those people he worked for? They'll come for us. It's me they'll come for. But I won't give them the satisfaction. Now, get some sleep. I'm gonna go fix that roof you boys messed up. Sharon, you're not right about much, but you were right about me. Claim the insurance. It'll clear the debt. Sorry for everything. Pa! Pa! Let me do this. Please. No, 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 don't die, don't die. <coughs> Shut up, left me. You're still my pa, I don't want to lose you. Life, ain't not what you want. Bear, if you'd only talk to me. Now he's got so many pipes and tubes sticking out of him. He ain't gonna be saying anything. For now. Should have let him swing. They gave us a week to settle the debt. After that, he'll come for the house, the trucks, and then us. It's vintage. Valuable, I think. That old thing? It's a fake. Trust me. Pa couldn't even give it away. Uh, 
You want to hear my pitch? I say we rob the bank. Could work. Dumb right. Now, hold on. Nobody is robbing a bank. It's too risky. But maybe there's another way. Surrounded. Take them out. Take them out. Just keep firing. Come on, there's too many of them. We gotta get to the truck. Michelle. Jim. Over here. Vince, we need you! Jim, where's Michelle? Look! Hold your fire! Come out with your hands over your heads! What? So you can kill us too? <sighs> Vince? I'm gonna get you out, okay? Please hurry. <sighs> Ma, it's over. We can't win. safe yet. Over there! The window! <coughs> Come on! Mother! Oh! Get out of there! The whole place is going up! We're gonna have to jump. Uh, Vince, wait. If I don't make it, you're gonna be fine. Grab my hands. Here we go. All right, time to jump. And no fancy backflips. I know you want to. Have I ever told you how much I love your dumb jokes? mess. <sighs> so 
Zeus. That was the lowest setting. You don't want to feel it on the highest. Sheriff, this is Coburn. Are you still in the back? Do you need support? Negative, Coburn. I got it covered. Where's Sharon? Where's the book? I don't know. What are you doing? I gave you every chance to do the right thing. I trusted you. And you chose them over me. Wait, wait. They made me do it. I was gonna give it back to you, I swear. I don't care about why or how. The Holt. <laughs> They're nothing, Vince. This town doesn't run without me. Even my most loyal deputies know better than ask how or why. That book could bring down a lot of people. Myself included. So I gotta ask, did you look inside it? I swear, I didn't even look. And the thing is, I... I don't believe you. How about I take you in for questioning so we can be sure? <laughs> I just want to ask you a few questions, Vince. Like, uh, what'd you read in there that you didn't want to tell me about? Incident report. Attempted to question witness in motel room. Witness became aggressive and combative. I was forced to electrocute the living shit out of him. Fuck you, Sheriff. Electrocute that asshole. Let's go. <laughs> Look what I found trying to crawl under the back gate. Get off! Well, hello. And who might you be? Where's my mommy and daddy? I need to make sure they're okay. She's that guy Vince's kid. Cops were meant to be watching her. Wanna go for a ride, Donna? Let her go. I don't think so. Zoe, what are you doing here? You were supposed to be in the car. The policewoman left the door open, and I wanted to find you. She's coming with us until we're far away and safe. Let her go. I'm not gonna ask again. Look, this is our only chance. We have a kid in the back of the car. Ain't no way the cops will shoot. That is so not my problem. Ain't it? Drop the gun. boy. Jay, you don't have to do this. Lower it? Please. So no one gets hurt. Not until they let Zoe go. I told you, we can't do that. Please, just put it down.
You are not taking her. I'm not letting it happen. Then shoot him, Jay. Do it! You're still my pawn. I don't want to lose you. Life ain't about what you want. I'm really sorry about this. Let's shoot open that gate and get the truck started. Daddy! Zoe! Zoe! Oh, shit! Need some help here? Please say you're the reinforcements. Lawrence Bradley, FBI. Jesus, this was a massacre. The sheriff was found unconscious. Everyone else was caught in the blast. We've got four deputies dead. Maybe more after the burns they took. And no sign of the perps. Let's get a helicopter in the air. That's it. Nice and quiet till we're past the tracks. I tell you, if Bear could see us now. Don't talk about him. This is all his dumb fault anyway. He wasn't dumb. He was trying to do the right thing. <laughs> hey, it's okay. You don't gotta cry. This isn't my car. Mine's a red SUV. The place I want is the edge of darkness. Thoughts stop, and memories die. Do you hear that? <sighs> Crap. Step on it! Ma, what do I do? We'll make it. Just keep driving. It isn't working. It never does. I get a few seconds of peace. Then instinct takes over. truth is, there's still too much to forget. Not just the motel, but what happened afterward. I won't sleep much tonight. I never do. I'll try again tomorrow. Go tell that long-tongued liar. Go tell that midnight rider. Tell the gambler, the rambler, the backbiter. Tell him that God's gonna cut him down. Tell him that God's...
it's gonna cut them down. Stop God Almighty, let me tell you the news.